Hello little friends, it's Miss Rachel here with another video for this week and this week we're going to focus on some stretching because I know stretching is not the most favorite part of my little friends classes when we are together but what we're going to do today is we're going to try and make it extra fun and we're going to really focus in on our pike stretch and our straddle stretch. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend to make a pizza because I love pizza and I really hope you guys love pizza too. And it's also really fun to bake stuff. So let's use our imaginations and let's bake a pizza, okay? All right, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start with our standing stretch. And we need to use our imaginations a whole bunch for this because of course, since we're pretending to make a pizza, we have to make it in our heads, okay? So here we go. Turn that imagination on and start with your feet together and reach your arms up high. And what we have to do is we have to open up the refrigerator and take out our pizza dough, okay? Because we have dough to make the crust. Our dough is already made, okay? So it's a little easier for us. Now, you gotta reach up high, and you're gonna open up the fridge. It's a very high fridge, and it's a magical fridge, so you can get any kind of dough you want. So if you want cauliflower dough, if you wanna have gluten-free crust, if you wanna have just regular pizza crust, it's up to you. So reach up high and grab your dough out of the refrigerator and bring it down. Oh, but reach up another hand and close the refrigerator can't leave the fridge open. Now what you're going to do is you're going to bend over nice and low. Remember, don't let your knees bend. Keep those legs nice and straight and you're going to set your pizza dough on the floor because we're going to make our pizza on the floor actually. Okay? So now while we put our pizza dough down here, we're going to count to five. Here we go. One, two, three, four, Five. All right, now our pizza dough is nice and ready, and what we have to do is start stretching and rolling out the crust in our pikes. So you're gonna pick up your dough, put it on top of your legs as you sit in your pike. Now remember when we sit in our pikes, we wanna keep our feet together, our legs together, and our knees down. Okay, now the reason we especially need to keep our knees down while we're making our pizza is because if you bend your knees while you're making your pizza, it'll make your crust wrinkly. And I don't know if you've ever had wrinkly pizza crust before, but it is not delicious. So keep those knees down so there's no wrinkles in our pizza. All right, now our dough's on top and we need to roll it out with a rolling pin. So you're gonna reach in front of you, open up a drawer. And inside that drawer, there's a rolling pin. Take it out, now close that drawer. Okay, now you're gonna hold the rolling pin on either side both sides, two hands, and you're gonna put it on top of your pike and roll your pizza crust all the way down to your toes and back up to your belly. Then roll it again and all the way back up. I think we need to do five more rolls and then it'll be nice and flat, so let's count together. Here we go, and one, back up, and two, back up. Keep that head down, and three, and back up and four, back up, one more, here we go, make it nice and flat, and five, all the way back up. Okay, now we're done with our rolling pin, so we need to put it in the sink because we have to wash it. So reach right over here, just set it nicely in the sink, you'll wash it later. Okay, now we're gonna pat out the dough with our hands a little bit, just like this. Pat it out, it's super fun to pat it out. Pat it out on your belly, pat it out on your legs, pat it out on your toes. Now it's time to make the crust. So we're gonna grab our toes, cause that's the edge of our pizza crust, and we're gonna bend them up to make the crust stand up on the ends, okay? Now we gotta hold it in place while we count to five, so we make sure that it stays there. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Great job, guys. I know that is the hardest one. And even if you hold it just like this, with just your very fingertips, so long as you keep your knees down, that's all that matters, and you did awesome, okay? Now, we need to make this pizza big, because we need to share it. So we're gonna switch into our straddle stretch. So open those legs nice and wide and stretch out that pizza crust. Now remember, you still don't wanna bend your knees, because that'll make our pizza crust wrinkly. And you can actually keep your feet flexed 
just like I am if you want to keep your crust up because you can still get a nice straddle stretch with your feet flexed. All right, now it's time to put on the ingredients. So first we need to put some sauce. And we have some sauce in a jar in the pantry. So you're gonna reach forward and open up your pantry and you're gonna grab that jar of sauce. Now make sure to close the pantry because we don't leave stuff open. Now we're gonna unscrew the lid. Use all your muscles. Here we go. And unscrew it. Oh, and, oh. Okay, I got it. There we go. Put the lid off to the side. Now take the jar of sauce and you're gonna dump it all over your entire pizza. Dump it everywhere, everywhere, and dump that last bit on your head, okay? Because sauce hair is fun. Now take that jar, and you're gonna have to wash it, but we're also gonna put it in a different place. So quick, rinse it out, And this jar's empty, and it's made out of glass. So where should it go? Should it just go in the garbage can? No way, it goes into recycling. So take that jar, put it in the recycling right over here important to recycle. Now friends, we're going to take our hands and we're going to spread out that sauce. So we're going to lean down and we're going to spread the sauce out over here by one leg. Now reach all the way over here and spread the sauce out by the other leg. And now spread it out in the middle, all the way in the middle, as far as you can go. Spread that sauce. And if you want to spread it this far, that's okay too. Spread as far as you can go. All right, now. We need to open the fridge again, because we need some cheese. And open your fridge, and get that cheese, and close the fridge. Never leave the fridge open. And let's open up our cheese, and let's grab out a handful. It's sprinkle cheese. And we're gonna sprinkle some over here by this foot. Grab some more, sprinkle it over here by this foot. Grab some more, sprinkle it all over. Now just grab the rest of it with two hands and sprinkle it everywhere. Sprinkle it all over, everywhere on your pizza. Okay, now this bag is empty, but unfortunately it's not made out of recyclable plastic. So we will have to throw it in the garbage. So put it in the garbage. Let's say the garbage is behind this. There we go, all right, awesome. Now friends, we need to cook this pizza. And to cook this pizza, we have to turn into our butterflies. And now, see, our pizza is like a circle. Kind of like a diamond, but also like a circle. And we're gonna turn it into an oven. So we have to close the oven door by leaning down over our pizza. And we have to count to 10 while we cook our pizza. Don't let your feet come apart because that'll break the pizza. So lean down and here we go, let's count to 10. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ding! That's how we know our pizza's done. Now, our pizza's ready, but it's super hot because we just cooked it in the oven and you can't use your bare hands to take things out the oven. So you need your oven mitts. Over in this drawer over here, open it up, grab out your oven mitts. Here you go. Now close that drawer, put your oven mitts on. Okay, now you're gonna pick up your pizza, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up with your oven mitts. Okay, now pick up your knees and what you're gonna do, put your pizza on your belly, on your belly. Okay, and I'm gonna turn sideways a little bit so you guys can see what we're gonna do a little better. So we're gonna push ourselves up into a table so we can take off our oven mitts, set them down. All right, now put your hands behind you and you're gonna push your belly up into a table to hold your pizza. Now what you're gonna do is pick up one hand, take a slice of pizza, eat it. Mmm, <coughs> that was delicious. Now take the other hand, take a slice, <coughs> Eat it. Mmm, so good. Let's eat some more with this hand. Now the other hand. And the other hand. And the other hand. And so much pizza. Oh my goodness. Delicious. All right, guys. Now we're going to come on down and we're covered in pizza sauce. So first, you got to shake it off your hands. Shake that pizza sauce off your hands. Shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Now shake it off your feet. Shake it off your feet. Shake, 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 shake. Now shake it off your face. And of course, some of my friends know we have to shake it off the most important thing of all. And that is actually, believe it or not, our chicken wings. So shake it off your chicken wings. Rock, 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 rock. You have to. It's just how it goes for Georgia's gym. All right, guys. Now, you did a great job with that stretching. And I hope you had some fun. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.